got your front and to front, back to back. <laughs> Right, and so I think maybe just some coral coming up here, right? So pick, picking a side and just doing that. Just with the ends, just stippling. It doesn't have to look like anything right now. You're just pretty much just getting your colors blocked in where you want things. And then I'll be right with you guys. <laughs> and then you, if it's going to continue up, you want to put your box where your hinge, it doesn't sit right on top. It actually sits back like this. So you'll want this coming up here on top of your ledge and then on up, however high you want it, to get it more of a, a fluid continuing picture. Oh, I got, who came up with unicorn spit? I don't know, but I'll tell you what, they're making a killing on it. Seriously. I love it. That is funny though. I remember my granddaughter, one time one of them was out here visiting, she was really little and she was more on the social media thing than I've ever been. I didn't even know how to get on there half the time and she was the one that helped me. But one time we were in the kitchen and um, she was like, Grandma, can we make unicorn poop cookies? And I was like, what? <laughs> I had never heard of it and I was like no I was appalled and the more shocked I was the happier she got <laughs> because she thought it was just so funny <laughs> we ended up making unicorn poop cookies <laughs> and uh, we did that for several years in a row <laughs> it became a thing they were all sparkly and colorful and quite delicious what you do for grandchildren, right? <laughs> okay, so, so far we've got some coral coming up. Don't wanna forget the little top. And again, I'm just stippling with the end of my brush, just kind of giving it the idea and where you're blocking in your colors. And I think that's one of the things that really helped me when I first started learning how to use paints and brushes is not to draw something, not to think, okay, I'm going to do a seahorse or anything but just to push color, whatever color it is that you think you're going to make, this coral, whatever, you just start tapping colors right there in kind of the shape. You're not really drawing it, you're just tapping colors into it. And then just let it sit. If it doesn't look like coral, that's okay, because it will. <laughs> Eventually it will. And even if it was really a loose idea of coral, with the seahorse and the seaweed, people's brains, I'm telling you, they will look and think, coral. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no grandchildren, Grat. But from what I'm told, it's being worked on. That's great. Uh, uh, they are such a joy. They're everywhere in the United States for us. <laughs> we go around visiting them. <laughs> yeah, I just um, think grandchildren rock. We had the opportunity to have some stay with us for a little while, but it was very short, short term. So, but it was great. I would do that again in a heartbeat.
Okay, so we have our coral in there. Coral. So let's do some seaweed. And let's see. These colors with the orchid outside of the box is like, wow, unexpected. But I think it's going to be okay. I will tie it in somehow or I will add some of these colors to the outside of the box. One way or another, it's gonna look like it fits. Welcome. Just messing with these boxes. All right, so I'm gonna take this regular little brush. It's kind of square. I should take a different brush. I'm gonna take this one instead. And I'm I've mixed it in with, I got some yellow unicorn spit, some green and some white. It's all a unicorn spit right there. And let's see, where's my, where's my guy? So I want the green coming up behind him. I don't want to later have to um, block that green out I want to be able to see through him in some parts like his fin or hair or something like that. So before I put this on, I'm going to mask over my little seahorse, I think. At least pieces of him. So then I can just paint green and not have to worry that I just went over the top of him. And so you just take this mask, I should have started up. It's a um, Incredible White Liquid Frisket. Frisket, I love that name. <laughs> if I had a dog, I'd name him Frisket. All right, so we got Frisket. And you just dab it wherever you don't want your green or whatever color you're doing. So I'm just basically covering up my seahorse with this frisket. I got green on it anyway, but that's all right. I'll probably end up making him somewhat green. How did I do that? That's okay. Mistakes, all part of the process. Oh, I know how, I used the wrong brush. I already had dipped it green. That's okay. Remember, it's only practice. Anything you do is only practice until it works out and you're ready to sell it. <laughs> that way you don't have to worry <laughs> about messing something up. You can just keep practicing. You don't have to worry about ruining it. Every time I'm saying things like that, you guys, I'm not talking really to you. I'm talking to myself. I'm telling myself, just go for it. Don't worry. Brisket. <laughs> yes, unicorn, unicorn spit and frisket is on the menu for today. All right, so now our yellow and our white and our green. It's not dry yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and come up this way a little bit. And I wanna take it down to, um, to the bottom as well. Like that, right? It always works better when you just, for me anyway, it works better to just go for it. When I paint timidly, I don't get, you know, the, the results are, oh, that's nice. Well, what do I expect? I didn't let loose. <laughs> I need to just do it. Whatever happens, happens. I want fun. 
exciting painting. That's what I want. Unusual painting. Can't get unusual if I play safe. Okay, so the green is coming up around kind of fish and through the coral. All right. do some over here too but you know what I want I think some rocks would be nice as well in there somehow messy Jesse oh I'd feel a little weird walking into a store and ask hey where's the unicorn spit <laughs> that's funny That's true. Still, I think it might be better than saying, um, do you carry unicorn spit? Because they would probably think you're just pulling their leg. Okay, I want to take a little bit of white. I've got some green on my paintbrush. I'm not going to load that up again. I'm just going to dip it in the white unicorn spit and let that fade out into nothing. That um, seaweed. That's my plan. I can always darken it back up, but I just want it to kind of fade nice and light. Nice, nice and tiny. All right. So this is kind of cool. I had this um, yellow unicorn spit drop off and right onto my painting. So now it looks like seaweed or coral or one of them has some sort of floral thing going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with that a little bit, of course. And I'm just gonna use a little uh, dotter that you do for your nails, grab. <laughs> And Randall. <laughs> but anyway, you can get them at Dollar Tree. <laughs> the little balls at the end. So they make the perfect circles. So you can just kind of decide, you know what, that's going to be kind of a floral like seaweed thing. And just make little flower ball thingies hanging off here and there. of a sea plant of some sort. Doesn't have to be perfect. Who knows what it is? Right? Could be Jack and the Beanstalk by the time I get done with it. Who knows? Q-tips work good, yes. Yeah, as long as there's no fuzz. Okay, now I'm going to take my larger circle with my white unicorn spit and my coral color again, my orange, red, and white, maybe a little yellow. Kind of mix it all in together till you get whatever color you're looking for. But I want really a lot of the white because I want to do start working on the texturing of the coral. And if this doesn't work, we can always use texture gel 
to do the same thing with the same tool. But I really just kind of want some circles down on the coral itself. I'll probably end up just pushing them around anyway with a brush because this doesn't seem to be working. I think the unicorn spit is just too thin to really give me what I'm looking for. So yeah, scratch that. I'll just go with a basic little round bristle brush thingy. The black background. Or black background. There is none. <laughs> What black background? <laughs> and now with this, I'm kind of just adding a little bit more definition and <clears throat> going darker on the coral down here and then once I do the darker on the coral then I will add just another little bit of layer of some white dots here and there and eventually as you continue to layer it'll look that like that rough holy porous looking that you want from coral But it's always a good thing to check out um, the subject that you're painting. Go check it out, Google it. Because it is amazing how many different types of coral there are. And you will find that whatever you're painting, uh, if it's animals or birds or whatever it is, flowers, there's just so many different species out there. And it's just good to get to know them. And so if you're doing the coral, you're gonna have lots of lights and, and dark. You're gonna have highs and lows because it's so porous. So it's getting there. It kind of looks like a orange lobster right now. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, Randall. You're a brat. Yeah, I have it. You want to see it? You want that black thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I decided I have to get a smaller one. <laughs> okay, I think it's going to be pretty when we get down to where... We're adding like sand and you know we're gonna have to add sand and stuff like that. I've like to totally taken up the room in the bottom. I don't know where my octopus is supposed to be. It might just be end up being fish or more um, seahorse could be down there. But anyway, you get the idea of how cool it is to do kind of a continuation picture, right? LOL. <laughs> so yeah, that, that whole flow is going to be very cool. And actually, I think the purple and the light green is a pretty combination. Very Easter. Of course, <laughs> I may not be one to judge the color. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it goes like this. All right, let's go back up to the top of the box and see what else we can we can do. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Randall. It's so funny, every time I watch lives, like I was watching yours the other day and you were doing clouds, it's like, oh, I wanna paint clouds. But then I'll go to somebody else's live and it's like, oh, I wanna do that. <laughs> like a kid good grief all right what am I looking for let's 
see. Let me see if I can peel up this. Oh no, I, I don't want to do that yet. The mask is almost dry. Not quite. Let me let me hit my seahorse. That sounded bad. With the heat. And make sure that mask is dry. However, uh, that's cool. You guys both do. It's amazing. So you don't want to hit the frisket too hot for too long because it will bake onto it. I did not know that until I saw somebody else have that issue and they it was horrible. They were trying to peel it off and it was like baked right into whatever it was they put it on. So be careful with the heat. Make sure you use it on low if you're going to dry your frisket. All right, so I just want, you know how seahorses kind of um, take their little tails and they wrap it around things, right? Like seaweeds and stuff. So that's kind of what I want is I want something coming up through this little one's tail. So I'm just going to draw a line with my green like it's coming up behind it and then through like that get the idea anyway And remember, we're just um, blocking in. You do paint fast. We're just blocking in um, the colors, the ideas. We'll go back and make that more defined. But even if you didn't want to, and you wanted just to make it a very loose type of painting, it's still cool. And especially when you get it under resin and we get some embellishments like the sand or seashells or whatever it is that we're going to put in here. It's going to look fabulous, darling. I'm beginning to think I want something back here, but I just don't know what. I might just want color. So I'm gonna dip it into some blue. And just start kind of putting in some blue here and there. And I'm making it real watery. So it should just kind of soak right in. Not afraid to go over the seahorse because we have the frisket on it. And that's nice. If you get to the point where you don't want to add, this is what I found anyway, you don't want to add any more items. You can always fill in your blanks by a background colors. Like you can do a vignette where you make this all dark around and this is lighter and it kind of fades to black out, which is really nice. Or you could just add just a few colors here and there, like this whole chunk 
was empty. So if I add just the darker blue with some water and bring it out a little bit, it just kind of gives it more of a balance without having to get details on animals and such. And then remember, you probably want to carry that same thing down into the bottom of your box because we're trying to make it cohesive here. We shall see. Water. Thank you. I like this, what's happening with just this blue, this really watery unicorn spit. Yes. Yes, yes, blue is water. <laughs> Sorry, sidetracked. Okay, it's getting a little waterier, more watery. Kind of get the idea. Lots of different colors. I'm really liking that. It's gonna be very pretty and bright. Somebody will like it. Somebody like me <laughs> will like it. If you just add water straight to your box since it's not been sealed, it just is blending on its own, which is really kind of cool. So let me do the bottom before I get carried away with the top. So there's, there's the top so far. Oh, thanks, Randall. I have painted a lot of boxes. That is a fact. I don't feel that I'm so good at it. <laughs> But I do feel like um, it's coming along. I'm getting, it's getting easier and getting more fun, less stress. Okay, so where is my dark? It's right there. I wanna carry that down. I want this whole section to be dark. And I might just put a rock in there somewhere because you know me. I like that, I like rocks. So, okay, there's the bottom edge. I went ahead and went the blue over the end. My first box, who knows? <laughs> I don't, they were rough. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing here so it matches. And let it just kind of fade on out with water. Back and forth to purple and blue. So what's gonna be your first box, guys? Grat, Randall? What are you going to make? I 
I think they're very cool treasure boxes. You can put rings in it or notes or seashells or anything. Stash money, stash whatever. Okay, there's the dark part there. Thanks, Randall. Max, you're not supposed to get COVID. That's all right. It maybe gets you out of something. <laughs> Work, school, talking. Just get to chill out and paint. That's what you get to do. Well, I hope you don't get it bad. Sorry to hear that, Max. This one is going to be one that I'll just want to spend some time on. Um, just doing what I would do like this in the studio by myself. Just adding colors and seeing what it looks like and not worrying about a specific direction so much as just enjoying the freedom of, of painting and discovery. First, that's what I say, and then you know what happens. <laughs> okay, so we got the bottom going there. Last week of school, and I'm missing it, and I'm fine. I'm not ill. Oh, that's beautiful, Max. Well, that worked out nice. Good for you. That's awesome. Okay. All right, so I think this is where it's going to stop for today, except let's mess with that, un that unicorn. Good grief, guys. <laughs> Uh, let's mess with the seahorse. Let's see if we can get that stuff off of it, that uh, frisket. And I really need an eraser for that, but I'm not sure where I put them. So let me dig. Well, no eraser, but I found some cool stuff in there. Okay, instead of trying to find an eraser, let me just see if I can get it started with this. Okay. Definitely gonna have to use some sort of, um, oh, there we go. See how it just, that frisket just comes right up. Isn't that cool? Love that stuff. It's a great tool. All right, so. Yes, we do. I think I'm missing something. Let's see. Anyway, um, I am going to stop right there with this box and I'm going to be painting on it probably this evening. Continuing on it. And I feel like we're gonna be continuing on this box for quite some time. I don't wanna rush it. I just wanna have a good time putting all the pretty colors in and coming up with stuff. So 
that's where we're gonna be. And I will, oh, I think this is, this looks good. Yeah, that, that box turned out really nice. And I think we can probably pick up this frisket as well, but I'm just gonna, let me see, can I get it off yet? So look, it just comes up. It's pretty cool, huh? Anyway, I get to do some peeling this evening, getting this frisket off of here, but at least it keeps the edges nice and clean. So when you put your box back together again, there is never a problem with it fitting or not fitting because you haven't added to any of the thickness at all. So anyway, I'll be doing frisket for a little while. So thank you guys for coming. Yeah, I hadn't either until I saw someone use it and I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I need that. So I got it and started using it and I love it. So um, definitely recommend it, it's this. This is what I've got, the incredible white frisket. So, all right, y'all, thank you so much for being here and hanging out for me with me and um, painting boxes with me. I hope you go get a box. Um, I've got all of these boxes for April. We're going to be doing lots of boxes. So you have time to go get a box or a piece of wood of some sort, do whatever you wanna do on it or follow along and we will make probably some sort of seascape or something together. So um, I will go ahead and put out a video of the date and time and when we're going to do it so you have plenty of time to go get your supplies so you can come do this with me and we'll have fun. All right. Have a good evening. You too, Randall. And you too, Grat. All right. Be blessed. Love and light to you all. Bye.